Steve, good 4-1 win over Braintree here. What was your thoughts on that one? Um, I was nice to win. Um, not only matters during pre-season, but the pleasing thing was is the, the progression that we've made now in the last sort of what, seven days during the game game programme. But you know, throughout pre-season, the boys looking sort of fitter and looking stronger, and it showed today in the game. We spoke off camera just a minute ago about how far we have progressed just in that seven days. It must be really pleasing for yourself and Peter how we're coming along at this stage. No, exactly, because we, we've done a lot of hard work in, in the early early weeks um, of pre-season, so you know, fatigue would have been sort of part of it maybe last week, but also there was a lot of, of trialists as well mixed in with the group, where today is probably a little bit more like in terms of how we're going to start. So, no, it was, uh, like I say, it was, it was more fluent. Um, we, look, we look strong. Um, you know, we look solid at the back, so yeah, it was pleasing. For Efron, Mason Clark to get on the score sheet, three goals in a week. If he can keep fit this year, then he could have a really, really successful season. No, exactly, and, and, he, and he's missed a large part of pre-season, but like I say, once he's come in, um, he's scoring goals, so the confidence is high. You know, Josh as well, um, obviously JJ, so uh, it's, it all boards well. Um, you know, scoring during pre-season can only, like I say, breed confidence um, going into the going into the, uh, into the league start. That starting eleven got a few extra more minutes than they did say on Wednesday. Was that a plan just to build yeah, up? Yeah, of course. Fitness? Of course, the first the first couple of pre seasons was always going to be forty five minutes, um, and we haven't got a massive squad, so we've got to be really careful uh, careful with them, handle them, handle them well. So yeah, today was always going to be around the sixty minute mark, um, going into possibly the final game um, next week. With it, you know, most of them will look at, look at ninety. We talk about the attacking play, but defensively we looked a lot more sound as well today. Do you think that's for the likes of like Ben Nugent just settling in? He's, he can improve yeah, on that. Yeah, of course, but it's been difficult, like I say, because we played three precinct games. Um, I don't think it's been the same the same back four, um, and you need that continuity, you know, that balance. So no, they've done really well, um, and, and they moved the ball well. Sort of so out of possession, they were they were decent, and also we moved the ball quite well as well in regarding being in possession. So no, no, they, they were decent. Just away from the game, you've been here now with Peter for four weeks. Just how much are you enjoying your time at the Hive? Yeah, it's great. Um, like I say, it's coming up the well, four weeks, I think it'll be next Thursday for me. Um, the first couple of weeks, you're just getting to know people, um, know people around the gra- ground, building relationships um, with the players. But no, thoroughly enjoyed it, you know, being made to feel, feel really welcome. And um, no, just looking forward now to, uh, to pushing on and doing really well this season. It's going to touch on that for my final question. Eastleigh, now two weeks' time, I assume it's going to be all wise as that is the end goal of pre-season to be ready in two weeks? Of course it is, you know, that's that's the start of the season. You build up to the start of the season. But it's also, you know, how we progress um, after Eastleigh as well. You know, there's, there's a big schedule ahead of us. Um, but it's important, any level, that you, you, you try and get a good start. And that's what we'll, we'll be working to do.